Guys, this one is Hive Investments. Um, I knew about this before it was launched. Um, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a huge one to FOMO into things like on the first day. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. Because sometimes you get in and it's just, yeah, you, know, you know, ROI DAPs are one thing, but things that um, are hopefully going to be more sustainable. I usually kind of watch and see what happens over a few days, you know, wait a week or so. Um, you know, node projects, things like that, it's not as important to like jump in the first day and, you know, jump in as quickly as possible. You know, it is good to be early, but it's not like, you know, super critical or anything like that. Um, you know, I was, I was kind of skeptical and I think it's kind of launched how I thought it would launch. Um, you know, the, the price to entry, it's kind of a barrier to entry with this thing because it's, it's so expensive to, you know, just get an introduction into this. You know, you can't, you can't really get into it with like, you know, 50 or hundred bucks or something. Um, you really have to have, you know, two plus thousand US dollars to jump into something like this. Um, so that being said, um, you know, I, I didn't like just pile into it on the first day and um you know there's there's other things like the queen's auction where they're they're um they auctioned off um the queen bees in this thing and yeah those things you know i i just don't have you know 40 to 70k just laying around to throw into an nft you know maybe someday i'll get there but um what this is, it's just, it's kind of a, yeah, it's, it says next generation DeFi as a service. Um, I think of it more as a node and when you invest in the node, you get an NFT. That's, that's kind of how I, um, um, look at it. And it's, you know, a node as a service where you're basically buying an investment block. Um, but like I said, the, the barrier to entry is, is so high with the price that it's, it's hard to, um, you know, capture a lot of smaller investors. You know, if you look at like polar node or something, um, you know, you can get a node for, um, I don't know, 50 to hundred USD. This thing, um, when you go to mint, a, a B with this thing, it's like, it's 10 honey tokens, which is, um, you know, they're up around 200 bucks right now. So that's like two grand just to mint one. And there's no like smaller version. There's no, um, you know, there's no way to get a smaller um, NFT. There's no other way to get in. So yeah, let's just look at this. You know, it talks about, you know, the prices went up slightly. It hasn't been, you know, huge. It's been hovering around $200. Um, it's got the Matic price on there. Um, yeah, and it's basically you just mint an NFT and then you get, you know, daily rewards off of those NFTs. Um, let's see. Yeah, I love this. Um, we're confident to promote you a daily supply of honey for as long as DeFi lasts. Um, that's, that's quite the promise. Um, to see if, you know, if something happens with their with the system and they fall down it's it's tough to you know say that this is going to last as long as DeFi. um uh let's see blah blah, blah. yeah it says you can sell your nft i still haven't found the marketplace um maybe i'm missing it maybe you guys know where this marketplace is where you can sell your nft I haven't seen it yet. Anyway, let's see. Uh, their KYC, they have con, their, um, they have audits on their contracts. Um, yeah. So basically, to get started in this thing, it's you buy the honey token, the HNY token, and you need to get ten of them, and then you mint the NFT, and then every day you go through and harvest honey. They missed one step in here, which is every month you have to pay a queen's ransom for the queen bee, and it is like three matic a month, um, and you have to pay that, otherwise your rewards stop. 
Um, they've got an FAQ section, you know, what chain will launch on. It's already launched. It's on uh, Polygon, which is Matic. Um, yeah, but the rest of this is just how to buy stuff. We can talk about that. So first thing is you buy honey, you can click buy, it'll go over your order, uh, it'll take you over to sushi, sh sushi swap and you can buy it. And, um, you know, let's, let's peg a stable coin in here and say you want to buy, you know, 10 honey, that's just over two grand. So that's what it costs to mint an NFT. Um, then you mint the NFT and I can show you where this is. Um, yesterday I went in, I decided to just mint one, try it out. Let's see how this thing works. Um, so yeah, this is my minted NFT. That could be a nice, pretty picture of a bee. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm more interested in the rewards that I can get daily off of this rather than the actual NFT. Um, I, I just haven't seen the marketplace yet, so I don't know if there's like value in holding the NFT long term. Um, I guess later, as they mint more of these, they'll become more valuable in the long term. Uh, but I'm still waiting to see that happen. Um, they had huge hype saying they're all going to have 40,000 of these things, and they launched this thing. And I think, I don't know if they, yeah, they haven't even sold four. 4,000 yet, so um, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, yeah, I think they really need to pick this up if they're gonna, like, you know, I guess it is kind of like nodes. They're just kind of selling nodes in these things. That's that's basically what it is with a, a cover of an NFT to, um, which is nice because later, you know, once that marketplace is going, um, you know, no, you dump your money into it and it's gone. Uh, with this, you, you know, you can throw some money into it and um, hopefully get it back. You can sell your NFT later, which is great. Um, so these are kind of the rewards. Um, if you get a worker bee, uh, you know, you get 0 .5, 0 0.05 honey, which is about 10 USD a day. So yeah, you can see that, um, yeah, 10 USD, unless the price really starts going up more, you know, it's gonna take 200 days to get your return on investment. Um, and then after that, it'll just be propped up. And that assumes the price stays there. So yeah, I think these things are pretty, um, uh, I don't know if I wanna say risky, um, but it'll be interesting to see what it does. Uh, hopefully it can sustain at least the 10 USD a day. I'd be happy about that. Hopefully it'll grow. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple to do. I mean, you just buy that, um, the honey token, you set how many NFTs you wanna buy and you hit mint. Um, first you have to approve it. And then after that you hit mint again and it will mint your NFT. In a few minutes you'll have your little worker bee or um, you do have a chance that you could be uh, minting um, a guardian, which gives you even more uh, daily rewards. Um, let's actually look at the white paper and show how this works. Um, let's look at down here. Do, do, do. They've got a they've got a little table. Here it is. So when you do go to mint, you've got a 98% chance you're gonna get a worker bee, and that's gonna give you 0 0.05 honey per day. Um, so about a half a percent, and then you've got a 1.5% chance that you're gonna get a guardian bee, which is gonna double that, so you'll get like a percent a day. And there's 600 of those, and then you've got a 0 0.05 chance, a half percent chance that you're going to mint a queen bee um, you know, of course, when you hit mint, you're crossing your fingers like, come on, queen bee. Um, that, that would give you 0.2 honey per day. Um, so that's what happens when you hit mint. You've got a chance that you could get one of those, um, but 98% chance you're going to hit, get one of those worker bees. Um, yeah, it's got a minting fee. So if you're in the first 8,000, um, it's going to cost 10 and then every 
looks like about 8,000, it goes up by 0.5. Um, I've got people yelling, do a Discord group. Yeah, we're, we're looking at, yeah, we're, that's getting closer, guys. Anyway, yeah, anyway, that's Hive Investments. You know, it's based around minting the NFT and um, once you do that, it kind of acts like a node where you get rewards every day um, based on that. Um, you know, I just like, I like their interface, you know, for what that's worth, but also um, hopefully it's sustainable long-term. Um, and then after that, yeah, I'm not sure what's going to happen. It'll be interesting to see the marketplace. If you guys have any information on that, I'd be interested to hear about it. Um, and then, yeah, I just wish the barrier entry wasn't so high for a lot of people. Um, you know, two grand is a lot just to be like, hey, you know, come buy these 40,000 bees. Um, they should have had something smaller. Um, just so people can, you know, jump in. Anyway, guys, tell me what you guys think of Hive Investments. Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. You know where that big red button is. And we'll catch you on the next one.